Hi there folks and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at Binance and specifically to um, South African customers like myself. So we've seen in the news um, them talking about the crypto exchange Binance terminating some of its services to South Africa after a warning by the regulator. Obviously there's been a lot happening in South Africa with regards to scams um, that have been busted and so there's been a lot of um, you know talk and um, warnings coming from the financial regulators and they've been targeting Binance. So with this in mind, you can see here from Bitcoin.com, an article relating to that, uh, Coindesk also talking about that, you know, things like trading futures, etc. In fact, if you go to Binance, you'll see that they have indicated here the changes to the Binance offerings. So they're not going to have things like futures, options, margin trading, you know, leverage tokens, any of that. And anything not done um, before around about the 6th of January next year, that is going to mean that whatever you have in there, it's going to be closed. Okay, so with that also, um, there was talk of you checking, you know, to see if you have your KYC in order. So please, this is just a video touching on that. What you want to do is go into your Binance account. And once you've logged in, you want to go to this little icon over here. That's your profile and you can see mine says VIP and that's verified. So VIP is zero verified, but you want to go down to identification, which is then going to take you to the screen that you just saw. So your personal verification, the main thing at first you're looking at is just your personal information. So when you go through the step, they're going to look at your personal information, ask, ask you for your government issued ID. So this can be your um, you know, barcode ID, and then they're going to ask for a picture of yourself. Okay, so because I've already done this verification um, with regards to my personal identity, I'm going to take you through the steps of how to do this. So like I say, you're going to go into Binance, you're going to go to your profile, and you're going to go to identification. Then you're going to click on that first column, you're going to click on start now, if you have not verified your details. Once you've clicked on start now, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is select the country of residence. So you're going to say, you know, obviously which country you are from. You're going to click continue. Uh, they might ask you to verify your cell phone number. So please remember if you're from South Africa, your country code is plus two seven. And then you begin with, you know, if your number starts with zero eight two, it'll be eight two and whatever the rest of the number is. You'll then click continue once you've entered that. Then they'll ask you for your first name, last name. You don't have to put a middle name in. Um, they want a date of birth as well. Click continue. Once you've done that, and they're going to ask you for your government issued ID card, a driver's license or a passport. So whatever you have. If we go with the government issued ID card, just remember um, they're talking about the normal, well, the, the more modern ID card now that looks like a driver's license. So if you've got a driver's license, you'll need to take a picture of the front and the back. If you've got the ID card, it'll have to be the front and the back. If you've got your traditional ID, um, I would just take two pictures, you know, of uh, the ID and just upload both as the front and back because obviously there's no real back to it. Once you're done with that, you've clicked continue. All that goes through. Then they want you to, to take a selfie of yourself. Oh, how do I say that? <laughs> a selfie. Um, but the idea is to verify the picture on the ID with the selfie. Okay. Um, once you've done that, um, they'll just verify everything. They'll confirm that and then you can click continue. Okay. If you are doing it from your phone, um, and you're using the Binance app, they might ask you to do an additional step. But generally, that is it. It goes into a review process. Um, and usually it's quite quick to get that sorted and to get your KYC done. Then you can see once you've done that, you've got your verified plus. And the only difference here is the amount that you can deposit and withdraw on a daily basis. You can see mine has failed here. So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to click on try again. Uh, South Africa, then I'm going to put in my address, the postal code, your city, and then you're going to click on continue. And then they want some sort of proof of address. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna click on upload file and then I'm gonna go and find the file uh, that I'm looking for, which is my proof of address. And let me just see, it should be this one over here. So you can see it can be a PDF, it can be a picture, it can be a JPEG. And I'm just gonna make sure that that is the correct one. Yes. Okay, so that's fine. Um, and this is for my proof of address. Click continue. So there you can see it's under review. And now I'll receive an email once that is complete. Okay, there they give me an estimated time. And now I can just click OK. Let's see the changes. You can see there now it's under review. So this one is to verify your identification. This is to verify your proof of address. Okay, and hopefully that'll help you get your KYC sorted.